Hello people, just doing a solar install for another vanner, van lifer. Panel's already up on the roof. She's having a 150 watt panel. She had no solar before. Beautiful day for it. Yeah, I've already um, seeker flexing the panel to the roof. And I've already fitted the brackets. I uh, did that yesterday, saved some time. So I've got to get up and clean the roof so it sticks down. So there's the panel. The mountain's done, bolted on. So I've just got to clean these patches underneath. So the Seeker Flex takes well. And go from there. Soapy water. Right, nice clean patch for the panel mount and the, the cable entry gland is going to go there. So do that for the other points. Right, that's all the patches cleaned off. If I had more time I'd clean the whole roof for her but I don't. So now I'm going to let the sunshine take care of that, dry it out and then drill a test point hole for the entry gland there. Want to be drilling in the right place. All right, that's how the panel's going to slip. Cable entry glands there. Now we've got to drill a hole.
Right, I'm planning on dropping the wires down the ceiling and down into the wardrobe so they're hidden apart from up here. Um, but the drill bit hasn't come through, so I need to extend it and see where it comes out. My guess it's going to be about there. So let's see where it goes. Right, the drill's still not going through, so I'm going to drill the hole anyway. I've got a grommet to fit there. That here another metal roof under here. So it's a high top with another metal roof underneath. <laughs> know why but transits don't normally have this extra metal inside it's a bit weird I think it must be where it was a minibus conversion so now I've got to widen that hole and stick a grommet in there to protect the cables as well and then I can drop the cables down inside the wardrobe across so the controllers go in here so it, it's not gonna put too much light into the back and then cables down to the batteries there. She's got two AGM laser batteries, Helford's ones, which are really good. They're actually rebranded Yasuo ones, rebranded for Helford's, and they're a very good durable battery. Um, gonna have a look at her installation down there. You see somebody's used house wire there. Uh, apparently somebody put a split charge relay in and it doesn't work. So hopefully we'll have time to do that today. Have a look at that. But yeah, let's get on with this. And there's the grommet installed on the inside one. I've seen so many solar installs where people don't do this. And quite frankly, it's dangerous because the wires will rattle with the vibration of the van. And this is a sharp metal edge and it will eventually cut through the insulation and then cause shorts and possible fire. So if you're gonna install solar, Make sure that goes in the metal part of your roof. Right, that's the panel Seeker flexed on. I put a bead of Seeker flex up there because the seam's rusted. And it looks like she might have been getting water ingress. Uh, there's the cable entry gland. So now while that's going off, let that go off for a while. And I'll go and install the solar controller inside ready so we can drop the wires down later on when the cable gland has gone off a bit. Right, that's the solar all up and running. In the end, I opted for the solar controller up there out of the way. I've used solar cable for all connections. I've just marked them with red, red heat sink so people know what's positive and what's not. Still got some cable management to do in here. Again, use proper solar cable. And that's all done, up and running. Sun's going down, but it's bringing in 0.9 amps. I've only just got it connected up 
So I've got to glue the carpet back. A bit of cable management, and it's all done. All right, just a uh, sprayed contact adhesive up there to glue the carpet back up. Incidentally, I've worked with solar controllers for about six to seven years now, and out of all the cheap ones, this is the one you want. This naturally supports AGM batteries. Um, it doesn't overcook your batteries. It is really good. Uh, yeah, it's a CMG 20 amp. They're like 26 quid on eBay. Don't bother with the five pound, eight pound, ten pound, twelve pound ones. They're rubbish. But if you can't afford an MPPT controller, this is the one you want. Really good controllers for the price. And as I say, they look after your batteries. They don't cook them. Let's stick a carpet back up. Mind the fingers. Get, get a bit of glue behind that one. Not too bad a job at all. Sadly, the sun's going down, so it's only bringing 0.2 amp at the moment. And this is Camille. This is our van. I've just done the solar install one. How are you feeling? Very excited, especially because it's a sunny day. Yeah, well, what's left of it? <laughs> no, I'm really, really pleased. I've been wanting to do this for ages. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah. All complete now. You don't have to worry about power for a little while. That's right, off grid.